couple of days ago, Brian from Automate Your Life has released new video, which in effect is interview with the Switchbot. And this coincided with a couple of boxes that I received. So today we will be looking at the Switchbot Pan and Tilt and Indoor Cam and how to integrate it inside Home Assistant. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Switchbot has started with the Switchbot Bot, a simple switch that you are able to toggle via Bluetooth or Hub and turn devices on or off. And in the recent year, there has been a flood of new devices from Switchbot. But this video will not be about Switchbot in general. Today we will be looking at two products. One is the Indoor Cam and the other one is Pentil Cam. Both of them were sent to me free of charge but I did receive one extra pen and tilt cam. And if you want to be a lucky winner of this giveaway, later on I will tell you what you have to do to be able to win this camera here. One of the problems or issues with the SwitchBot and integration home assistant is that unfortunately your system needs to support Bluetooth. This is if you want to control everything locally. I myself have nothing against a good cloud service and I do think that the SwitchBot cloud service is really okay, especially after I learned that all the data and everything is held in the AVS data centers. So yeah, there is a, let's call it like that, a little bit extra of security there. But a lot of you are not comfortable with having any cloud devices. If you are one of those, unfortunately, none of these cameras will be able to work locally at least at this point. Maybe something will be changed in the future, but for now, both of those cameras need cloud service. And also, unfortunately, if you are thinking of using a SwitchBot app and integration inside Home Assistant, that also will not work. But let's first look at those two cameras. First camera I received is SwitchBot Indoor Cam. It is using Wi-Fi connection, and this is Indoor Camera. In a matter of fact, the other camera is also Wi-Fi and indoor, so don't leave them outside on the weather such as direct sunlight or rain or extreme heats or colds. Both of those cams, SwitchBot Indoor Cam and SwitchBot Pen and Tilt Cam, can be also controlled by the Alexa smart speakers. A resolution of both of those cameras is 1080p. Both of those cameras arrive with free cloud service, but not free cloud unlimited storage. Mount for this camera can be removed and attached to the back side, so you can have it either standing on a desk or mounted to the wall. In the box you will receive everything that is needed for the mounting, but also you will receive a very long USB cable and of course the charger or power adapter. And yes, it's very similar to the adapters that we use to charge our phones. What you may find strange is that this SwitchBot Pan Tilt camera is cheaper than the indoor camera. And yes, it does offer you ability to pan and tilt. Pan means that the whole head of the camera is rotating and tilt that the camera can go up or down. This camera also has physical privacy mode. You can also turn on privacy mode through the app, but of course, this is digital privacy. This camera can turn and follow whatever motion is detected, which is great if you have a pet that you want to monitor. And as I mentioned, both cameras have a resolution of 1080p. Setup for the cameras for both cameras is similar. Click on a plus sign. From the list, select device that you want to add, be it pen tilt camera or indoor camera. Check and verify that it is flashing. And after it is flashing, type in your Wi-Fi credentials. Next step is to point your phone screen towards the camera so it can scan the QR code. This QR code has all the data that is needed for the app itself to configure the camera or for the camera to configure itself. Pick a name or the room and as you can see my Amazon device has detected that there is a new camera present. And here it is. Interfaces for both of the camera are similar or same. You can rotate the pan tilt camera picture and then you will receive option in the left bottom corner to rotate or move camera left, right, up or down. Of course this option is not available for the indoor camera because it doesn't have PTZ functionality. For the privacy, you can select it from the app, or as I mentioned, you can do it by hand. You can also re-enable camera from within the app. 
there is automatic or manual or off night mode, motion detection, which will alert you if there is a motion detected, and of course this camera also has motion tracking, which will enable camera to follow motion. But as I mentioned, if you are using SwitchBot app, unfortunately you cannot add it inside Home Assistant, and there is a workaround for that, but for that you will have to sacrifice SwitchBot app. And that's up to you if you will go for that or not. By the way, there is one additional option that you can do and I will not cover it in today's video, and that is to use webhooks. Yes, unfortunately you still wouldn't get the stream from the camera inside Home Assistant, but that will allow you to get a direct notification from camera if it detects any motion in front of the camera. So there is one thing that you can do with Home Assistant and SwitchBot Cam out of box. But as I mentioned, I will not be talking about that in this video, because it does require some steps to get set up, and maybe I will talk about it in the SwitchBot lock video, which will follow soon. But there is a way to add the camera stream inside Home Assistant. It requires you to use either Tuya app or Smart Life app or any app that is Tuya slash Smart Life compatible. I think that there are a total of three versions of those apps. In this video, I'm using Tuya app. I will not be showing you the steps needed to add camera because the steps are really same as in a SwitchBot. You hit the plus sign, you select what type of device you want to add, which is camera, type in the password for the Wi-Fi, scan the QR code, and that's it camera itself should now be visible inside the Tuya Smart Life app. And Home Assistant will pop up notification that there is a new device is discovered. If we check it, we will see that this has been discovered as a Tuya device. If you haven't added any Tuya devices so far, there is a one extra step that you will need to do. Because if you click on configure, it will ask you for the country, which of course you select the same country that you used in your app, but also it requires you to provide Tuya IoT Access ID and Tuya IoT Access Secret. And we do not have that, or at least I didn't have that so far. The other two options are account and password, and this is the same account or email that you used in your Smart Life or Tuya app, and the password for that same access. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, SwitchBot has sent me the extra camera, and that's why I'm making a small giveaway where I will be giving away this one camera. Unfortunately, due to the shipping costs, the exports and everything, I beg you, don't join the giveaway unless you are from within EU. While I would gladly like to send it out, there will be problems both for me trying to ship it outside, but also for you because you will have to pay taxes for this camera. What you have to do to enroll yourself in a giveaway? There are three steps. First two steps are not mandatory, but they may or may not increase your chance of winning this camera. First of course is to like the video. Second one is to subscribe to my channel. And the third and the mandatory thing that you have to do to join this giveaway is to leave comment down in a comment section below, but you must also end it with the hashtag SwitchBot. Only comments under this video with the hashtag SwitchBot will be joining the giveaway. While you may try to post multiple comments with the hashtag SwitchBot, unfortunately, yes, only first one will be included. Thumbs up to the video, subscribe and leave comment with the hashtag SwitchBot in it. And you have until 9th of July. On the stream that will be held on 9th of July, we will be, yes, selecting one winner. Good luck and may the SwitchBot pen and tilt camera come to your hands. As I mentioned, we now have to create Tuya IoT dev account. The link to it will be down in the description of the video. If you haven't created already account, sign up for one, fill in your account details, optionally insert the company name, but it's not that important, and select country. Agree to terms and conditions, 
And I'm not sure if this is mandatory or not, but I will also tick this read and give further consent to obtain more personalized information and more diversified services. Next. After you have solved the puzzle, if it asks you to solve it, go to your email and copy the verification code and create account. Let's now log in to our account. First time you log in in the account, there will be a beginner's guide for you. So let's start with it, but we will also skip it. For the account type setting, we have to select individual developer. Let's press setup now. In the basic information, account type, let's select I'm an individual developer. If you want, you can add or change some of the basic information, contact person, security settings, but I will be proceeding back to IoT platform. Next, we have to create a project. Let's go to cloud, development. Let's skip this and press create cloud project. Type in the project name, home assistant integration. Description is not mandatory. Industry, smart home. In development method, select smart home. And for the data center, there is a China, Central European, India, West America, West Europe, and Eastern America data center. I will be selecting Central European data center. And press create. In the configuration wizard, we need to add one more authorized API service. And that one is device status notification. You should now see selected API services 5, which include IoT Core, Authorization, Smart Home Scene Linkage, Data Dashboard Service, and Device Status Notification. Click on Authorize. If you look closely, you will see authorization keys here. This is Access ID, which we need for Home Assistant, and Access Secret, Client Secret. You can copy it, and if you need, you can press this symbol here to show it. Next step for us is to go to Devices, link to your app account, and add app account. Following QR code needs to be scanned within your Smart Life app. It should also work with the Tuya Smart, but I haven't verified it. Leave automatic linkage here, which is recommended, and you have option of selecting device permissions. I will be selecting Read, Write, and Manage. Press OK. One device has been added because I only have one device and this is the SwitchBot Indercam. OK. If you forget where you need to go to find your access ID or access secret, it's under your project name, which is in my case Home Assistant Integration, under the Overview tab. Let me copy this and in Home Assistant fill in all required fields. Country, which is my country that is the same one as used in a Smart Lab app. To your IoT access ID, to your IoT access secret, account, which is the email used in a Smart Life app, and of course, password for the Smart Life app. Let's press on submit. The camera itself has been detected, and I'll add it to the area. Finish. If we scroll now to the Tuya integration, there will be one device present there, and that's it. The SwitchBot cam, the indoor cam in this case, has been added to the Home Assistant. Of course, now you have a lot of options on how to play and configure it. For example, if I would now use my mobile phone and turn off motion detection, in the logbook you will see the update that the motion alarm has been turned off. You can turn on or off the indicator life, select the sensitivity, night vision, privacy mode can be on or off, it can be in a continuous recording, time, watermark, or you can start video recording. And this now is a live stream from the camera within Home Assistant. And this is how SwitchBot integration looks inside Home Assistant. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, you do have to use cloud services. And second unfortunate thing is that unfortunately you cannot use SwitchBot app. You have to change the app and use Tuya app for that. I really wish there was a way, and I really do hope there will be a way for SwitchBot cams to work with cloud service if we cannot get them locally, at least with the SwitchBot app. Couple of notes or reminders before I wrap up this video. First, don't forget to join the giveaway. The second thing is, yes, in the description of the video, I will be leaving a couple of SwitchBot links and promo codes. At the 30th of June, SwitchBot will be starting with its sales campaign, and you will be able to buy discounted products. 
directly from their website, but also from the Amazon. Promo codes and links are in the video description. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did find this video useful and that you will be integrating some of your SwitchBot cameras inside Home Assistant. If you did find this video useful, don't forget to give me a like, because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with YouTube algorithms, and it may or may not help you with the chances for the giveaway. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates and of course streams. And don't forget that on the 9th of July there will be stream where we will be drawing one lucky winner of the SwitchBot camera. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always leave comment down in a comment section below or go to the Discord server and the link to Discord server is in the video description. And before we end up this video, I really would like to thank everybody who is supporting me and has become a YouTube channel member. Thank you all for all of your support. But also thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member. Thank you all. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.